Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I apologize for the phone call. Yeah, so the video from previous is short. I will try to remember to put the two together. If I don't, it whatever, it's fine. It happens. If I don't put them together, you know, this one, this one and the last one, whatever, it's fiasco trying to order stuff online and for a three dollar coupon that's only available online by the way so you know yeah I hate that crap it's like you're gonna give us three dollars off but only online no <laughs> how about you do it any way we want to you stingy buttholes or, if you're going to do it that way, how about not at all? But yeah, that's, you know, my two cents on it. Alright. Again, I do apologize for the abrupt cut. But hopefully I'll get no more. It's part of life. Um, and yeah, let's just continue where we left off. So, uh, let's see here. That's not helpful. So, I just got assigned to the Markov. The first shipment, slag steel. Nothing special. As soon as I left Neon and got scanned, things got crazy. Spacers, Freestar security, the works. Everyone demanding I power down, hand over the contraband, or sometimes just firing first. I skipped the system, ditched the cargo, and have been running ever since. I don't know. I was just flying for my life. Hmm. But some bad people want it. It gets even worse. A tracker just landed, and I just know he's hunting a bounty. Me. But the trick is... Everyone knows the ship, but my info isn't in the database yet. All they got is my last name, Fahim. So if you go into the pit stop and claim you're Captain Fahim of the Markab, maybe you can deal with the tracker? I don't know. I don't want anyone to get hurt, but he may not give you any choice. The company is, well, <laughs> a real train wreck. I'm amazed they even have my last name on file. For once, working for such a dump is a good thing. Hmm. You are the best! This slate has everything they know about me. It's not much. He's the one with the cowboy hat. Just stay safe. Thank you. Okay. Hello. Give me a moment. Worth it. Oh, am I a bird? We'd be dust, except for the factory. You know, I didn't actually activate that quest, did I? Uh, let's go ahead and do this one. Off-worlders. Nothing good ever comes from it. Let me guess, a continuation from that fucking phone call. No, okay, yeah, no. no. Wow. I guess we're not going to get $3 off on that at all because now the order is cancelled for both of us. Cool! Assholes. Payday is always a good day. Hey stranger. What do you want, a beer? A 
Uh, we got crap, piss, and more crap. What do you have? Piss it is then. It ain't working. I'm sorry, we're out of beer. I'm new in town. You look like you just got here too, right? What's your name, stranger? I buy you a drink. A little of this, a little of that. I like to keep busy. Friends call me Ernesto. Actually, everyone does. Because it's my name and all. And you? Fahim, huh? Came in on that ship to Markab? I bet you didn't know it. But I'm a tracker. And I'm here for your bounty. Two ways this can go. You know the drill. Bounty says you made off with a haul of medical supplies. Meant for orphans. Or something. I get a bonus if I turn the shipment in sight unseen. I figure they're in the markup. Looks like a place that doesn't mind some color. <laughs> Point and surrender. I trank you up, deliver you, they kill you. Nobody ever picks that option. I don't deal with smugglers and no good types. Well, I do, but more violent like. My words, my bond. So you didn't shoot your way off Neon Fahim? The bounty is pretty damn clear. But something don't sit right with me. Not sure what. Maybe. Maybe not. Four. And all I have ah. to back that up are words. Putting a death mark on a captain for charity? It is awfully suspicious. Slag steel, huh? Hmm, well, I guess that don't make any sense. All right, I'm not taking you in. But that just means somebody else will. Whatever you are shipping, you got to return it. The next tracker probably won't be as upstanding as I am. Whatever you say, Fahim. Sound believable. One more drink and it's lift off. Just letting off some steam for the next shift. Well, if we're looking for somewhere to pick a fight, this would probably be the place. Hmm. Now to look around for any magazines, because yes. Hey, sodium magazines. I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll buy them. I don't, I don't mind at all, man. I, I really don't mind. You know, we do more than booze, right? If you need it, you got it. Unisex bathrooms? Looking for something. I mean. I meant I have everything except that. I mean, it is the future. Carlos at the best defense. Tell him Sal sent you. <laughs> Listen. Anyone on the John? Hello, and. Oh, my favorite. It's facing the right way. Oh, so is that one. Oh, so is that one. Ah, oh, they all are. And if anyone disagrees, you're an idiot. I doubt it would work. I doubt it would work. Oh, 
Holy. This is unlocked somewhere else. Ah. Oh. I can't believe I found contraband. <laughs> Why can't we search all of these? Come on, Todd, please. They're searchables, right? Let us search them. Dude, can we get drunk? <laughs> Minus 50? Dude, talk about some cold drinks. Holy crap. I'm stuck. Oh no. Gravity. I'm stuck again. Oh no. I can't believe I found contraband. What else is in this room? Oh! Aww. Ho ho! What am I ever do? Is there any more contraband anywhere? Oh, oh, oh I wonder if that was his room. <laughs> I bet it was. <laughs> I bet it was. I bet it was his room. Oh. Can we find a magazine in here? Or some contraband? Oh. Can we find some contraband? Or a magazine. No, I cannot. Damn it. Damn it. It still exists in the future. Hell yeah. They didn't get rid of it. Good to know. Bye, have fun. You know, I hope they add the contraband system in the next Outer Scrolls. I really do. Because it's a great system. It's items that you cannot bring into certain cities. I wonder if we can sell it here. Oh, can we? Sentient AI adapters. We're looking for that one. Can we sell it here? And it'll be under miscellaneous. Correct, under miscellaneous. Let me just double check that. Nope. Yes, it is. So, no, we cannot sell it here at all. Laser radiation. Avoid eye skin exposure to direct or scattered radiation. Class 4 laser product. Yeah, I, I, I really hope they add the, the contraband system to Elder Scrolls 6. That'd be fun. Zeroing in on anything useful? <sighs> All right, so let's go. Yeah, we gotta talk to her now, don't we? Yep, that's right.
This can't be happening. I feel sick. I mean, maybe. At my sixth birthday, the theme was unicorns. Sorry, bad joke. I feel like I can finally breathe again. Thank you. You think? I mean, of course they will. Oh God. I don't mean to be ungrateful and all, but I really, really need to go. Thank you. Nice. 50 XP is not bad. I mean, it could have been better, sure, but... Yeah, we'll talk to her. We're here. Why not? Yes? What? You made it. Those outlaws didn't give you too much trouble, I trust? I'm sure it didn't hurt that I softened him up for you. You've got good timing. A courier just came in from Aquila. The Marshal sends his regards along with a briefing on your case. I was surprised as hell to learn about the starship theft. Nobody said a word to me about it. Anyway, Mr. Hope can see us whenever you're ready. If you need to take a little time first, feel free. No, and I can't get answers as to why not. I'm sure Mr. Hope has his reasons. Hmm. His office is upstairs. He's in a meeting, but it should be wrapping up. Come on. Thank you, Master. Just keep it hope. Ron Hope certainly embodies the saying, a spared yes, no experience. Ron Hope isn't just the founder and president of Hope Tech. He's on the Council of Governors. The Council oversees the Free Star Rangers, so don't pile on. I've spent a long time trying to build a good relationship with Hope. He comes on a little strong, but there's a lot to admire about the man. Everything you see around you, he built. Pretty much everyone in this town owes him for their livelihood. You can't begin to imagine the kind of pressure that must put on someone. All I'm saying is, try to show a little respect. Being above everyone makes them feel like they're, well, <laughs> above everyone. That's how it is on Earth, too. Or how it was on Earth. not just our bottom line that matters. We're also responsible for the welfare of everyone in the factory. We look out for our people here, Birchett. That's a point of great personal pride. Um, excuse me, uh, Mr. Hope? Well now, the Free Star Rangers. At last! Ah, <laughs> uh, damn, good to see you. I think we're done here, Burchett. Yes, sir. This is the deputy I told you about. Splendid. Spl hmm. Splendid. It's a noble calling being a free star. There we go. We certainly could use more of you. Let's get down to it, shall we? Time is money. I'm sure I don't have to tell you what an 
outrage it is to have a ship stolen right out of the factory. Justice must be done, and the sooner the better. That's good news. I'll send my people over to bring it home. Of course, that doesn't mean your work is done. I want the thief found and prosecuted to the full extent of the law. I'm sure I don't need to remind you of my position on the Council of Governors. I'm glad we understand each other. I'm not certain why you choose to back this Free Star elitist snob, but that's your choice. I'll back your play, but I don't have to like it. Now, tell me that you've at least got a lead of some kind. Hmm? Though what happened after the ship was taken doesn't concern me, what does concern me is making sure that this doesn't happen again. Well, I'm not sure I can be much help, but I'll answer whatever questions I can. Hmm. Uh. No, nothing at all. It was just a, a standard Hope Tech cargo hauler. Not that it didn't have great value, mind you. Hope Tech build some of the most durable and reliable starships in the settled systems. Now you can bet my ships last twice as long as anything Stroud Eklund makes. We questioned everyone who was in the building when it happened, and not one person seems to have seen anything at all. Frankly, I think that's both highly unlikely and more than a little suspicious. However, I can't deny there are times when the hangar is empty, so it's not inconceivable the thief could have slipped in unseen. What? Nonsense! We vet our people thoroughly here. Hope Tech holds its employees to the very highest standards. Nevertheless, I suppose I could have Cosette conduct a, a thorough Personnel review. Rest assured, if we turn up any evidence that one of our people was an accomplice, I'll let you know. Because I told them not to. If word got out, it would do irreparable harm to our image. I'm in fierce competition with other Starship manufacturers. Any sign of weakness could be fatal. Uh, what's more, every starship thief in the settled systems would, would likely flock to Hopetown and start planning the next heist. Very well. I need you to understand something, Deputy. This town is home to men, women, and children who depend on Hope Tech for a living. I provide jobs that put food on their tables and a roof over their heads. It's a responsibility that I take very seriously. If word gets out about the stolen ship, my investors will lose trust, and my workers will pay the price. I can't allow that. Well, heavy is the head that wears the crown. I'm sure the burden of responsibility for your workers is an inconvenience, Mr. Hope. But the deputy has responsibilities as well. Despite what you think, I have great respect for the badge and the difficult choices that come with it. But my primary concern is for the welfare of my people. I'm glad we understand one another. To interrupt, Mr. Hope, but there's been a development. Not now, Cosette. I'm in the middle of something. But, sir, we have new information. I've just received a report that the stolen ship was seen landing at Neon just after the theft. A breakthrough at last. Well, Deputy, it sounds like you'll be heading to Neon. 
which means I can get back to work. Remember what we discussed. My people are depending on you. Hey, can I get a word? <laughs> that wasn't as helpful as it could have been. Still, at least you know where to pick up the trail. Mrs. Nwankwo, we just got one. Let's hope. So, guess you're headed for Neon. There's a ranger station fair. Name's Jalen Price. He's a little different than the rest of us. But the Neon's a different kind of place. That's great. He's what I'd call a pragmatist. He sees things for what they are. He's also well connected, which means a lot on Neon. You should listen to what he tells you. It'll keep you out of trouble. Okay. Well, we could talk for an hour about that. The short version would be that crime, law, and justice don't exactly mean the same things there. The badge doesn't carry the same weight on Neon, so you might have to get creative. He should be able to help you out. Well, we've both got work to do. It was good to meet you, Deputy. Thanks again for helping me out up there. I'll be taking it easy for a couple of days. Need time to heal up. Then, I need to get back up there and keep an eye out for more pirates. I'm hoping to track one of their ships so I can find their hideout. Guess we could both use a little luck, huh? Yeah, the question of who helped the starship thief is still an open one. Mm -hmm. Don't you worry. I'll keep an ear to the ground. You be careful in Neon. <coughs> nice. Alright, I want to see if I can go to Woof or not. Um, Woof. I can actually go there. Nice, okay. We are going to Wolf. After you, Captain. I want to sell this contraband. The Dan responding to hail. You are cleared to dock. Welcome to UC Space. It's a little surprising, isn't it? Out if there's here, anything I can do for you, you please. See space. You won't find a better Just offer on the station. I don't need this, and I will sell this. Thank you for your patronage. It means a lot to me. It truly does mean a lot. We 
detached. Let's get out of here. All right, so now we are going to Uh, we got any more activities? No, we don't. Awesome. That's in neon. We could go there. Let's go here. What level is that system? Never mind. We're not going there right now. This is also in neon. Um, where is this one? It's in Seoul. Okay, sure, we'll go here. There's ships. Level 100. Dude. Is this the ship that I gotta be on going to? Yeah, it is. Oh my goody gumdrops. Welcome, Captain. We've been expecting you. You're clear to dock at docking port 1. Docking port 1. Okay, sure. Let's do this. Should I warm up the engines? Hi. Please disregard. I attempted an informal greeting, but I am... Welcome aboard the UC Vigilance. The Did you have any questions before I escort you to the commander? Yeah. Listen to him. Carefully. The commander's a one-and-done kind of officer. In other words, he hates to repeat himself. Other than that, just observe standard military decorum, and it should keep you from serving any time on the ship's cleaning detail. Hmm. I'm not authorized to divulge information about this vessel. Suffice to say, it's one of the toughest ships in the UC's arsenal. Understood? If you'd follow me, please. So, you're the vanguard that took down that Terramorph on Tau City. You've made quite an impression around here. Everyone upstairs is talking about it. Damn. That must have been one hell of a firefight. I almost regret missing out on all the fun. Of course, we don't normally see that kind of action on the Vigilance. But we have our moments. All right, Vanguard. Take the lift up to Ops. Commander Akande should be waiting for you. Good luck. A military ship, Pardon. huh? Sysdef Marines are the best of the best. Cool. Excuse me. Oh my god, uh, I want a ship like this. <laughs> Damn. Damn, Todd Howard. 
Damn, Todd Howard, this is beautiful. Hello. Yes. yes. What? what? God, I want a ship like this. Yes. Oh, man. I believe we have something important to discuss. Ah, there you are. Commander Kibwe Kande, UC Sistev. Glad to have you aboard. I was beginning to think you were having second thoughts about Commander Tuala's offer. <coughs> UC Sistev is a division of the UC Navy. While they handle big picture stuff, we deal specifically with pirates. Since you're already involved with the Vanguard, I don't have to underline how important your contribution will be to the security of our spaceways. It appears he's certainly picked the right person for the job. So, now that you're part of the team, allow me to introduce you to your new home. This is the operation center of the UC Vigilance. Sysdev's nerve center dedicated to the destruction of the Crimson Fleet. Hmm, that's strange. According to your file, you've encountered them before. On Vectera, specifically. They were the pirates that attacked your mining outpost? I'm surprised you don't remember. Whether this ship is impressive or not, you're the key element that we've been lacking. We need eyes and ears inside the Crimson Fleet. Someone who can feed us information, evidence, and expose their weaknesses. I like what this is that You can't just knock on their front door and ask for an application. Getting inside is going to take some finesse. I do. Our intelligence has managed to find a possible opening into the Crimson Fleet through Sersha Bowden, one of their contacts. She works for the Trade Authority in Sidonia, so you'll be using a container of Aurora we've loaded on your ship to get her attention. Hmm. Aurora is a Class A controlled substance that's illegal to transport outside of Neon, a city on Voli. Get caught with this stuff aboard a ship and you're looking at some serious fines. That's classified. Suffice to say that the smuggler who was previously hauling it will be spending the rest of their life in prison. That's right. So it'll be your job to convince this person that you're the real deal. Once you bluff your way into the Crimson Fleet, then the operation proceeds to evidence gathering. That's where my second-in-command, Lieutenant Gillian Toft, comes into the picture. She'll explain everything you need to know. Eager to get going? Good. Remember, this entire operation rests on <coughs> your ability to infiltrate the Crimson Fleet and bring us the evidence we need to take them down. Then you better learn to swim, because you're diving right into the deep end on this one. I've studied your profile. I know you can do this. I'm not about to throw away someone's life on a whim or a prayer. Just use your best judgment. Trust your instincts. And watch your back. I wouldn't expect any less. Look, before you begin, I want to make something perfectly clear. As an undercover operative for UC Sysdev, you'll be expected to follow our code of conduct and ethics. Allow yourself to stray too far off the path, and you stand a good chance of spiraling out of control. The Crimson Fleet doesn't follow the rules. They only abide by one theme. Money. All of their morals and social graces fall by the wayside in pursuit of their greed. At first glance, this can appear quite enticing. 
So I'm warning you not to get lured into their trap. Think you can handle that? To put it simply, you can't go into every situation with guns blazing. Think before you act. Calculate what you're doing and pull the trigger only when it's absolutely necessary. At the end of the day, your primary goal is taking down the Crimson Fleet. That's the greater good. Okay, That's I have what to I that. wanted to hear. Anyway, it's time to hand you over to Lieutenant Toft. She'll brief you about the details of the evidence gathering portion of the operation. Now, get out of here and good luck. While you're running with the Crimson Fleet, you're undoubtedly going to be faced with some morally gray decisions. Mm -hmm. It's going to be difficult for you to weigh the consequences of pulling the trigger while maintaining your cover. Do what you have to do, but remember why you're out there in the first place. Then you do what you have to do. The Crimson Fleet has the potential to kill hundreds, even thousands of people per year. If it takes a few deaths to maintain your cover, then so be it. But only as an absolutely final resort. This is not a licensed killing spree. Understood? That's why I expect you to constantly seek alternative means to overcome your obstacles, rather than blowing holes in them. Look, I can see that you're struggling with this. So let me simplify this for you. If there's a route to your goal which doesn't involve killing innocent people, I'm urging you to follow that path. Okay. Use your instincts. I'm certain you'll do the right thing. For your own safety, nobody but myself and the crew of the Vigilance will be aware that you're working for the United Colonies. Basically, if you land in jail, you're going to have to deal with the fines. Okay, fair enough. All we know is that she's been with the Trade Authority for years, which means she's been privy to some seriously shady deals. She's shrewd and she's diligent. The only reason we were able to connect her with the Crimson Fleet at all was thanks to an informant. I'm afraid she's the best lead we've got. That's easy to answer. You don't. We'll be monitoring your activities from the vigilance and attempting to keep it within your vicinity. When you feel you've gathered enough evidence and at the completion of your assignments, head back here for a debrief. Beyond that, you're completely on your own. Dismissed. All right, so we're on our own. All right, we don't have a lot of time, so I need you to listen up. While you're working undercover, it's imperative that you gather as much evidence as possible. Mm -hmm. If you find any records that look suspicious or incriminating, you bring it to me. Is that understood? I'd scour every inch of wherever the Crimson Fleet sends you. Otherwise, you're wasting our time and risking your neck for nothing. Criminals are sloppy. Look hard enough and I'm certain you'll stumble across their mess. You better make it, because Commander Akande cashed in all his chips to get this operation off the ground. I want data slates, computer downloads, handwritten notes. Hell, I'll take anything if it'll get those bastards thrown into the brig. For the sake of the settled systems, I hope you're right. That minor skirmish you had with them on Vectera was nothing compared to the death and destruction those pirates leave behind. If you've seen what I've seen, you'd understand why I'm pushing you so hard. What? No. It's personal. It has nothing to do with you. Just stick to the mission and you'll be fine. <laughs> That's all we're asking. <coughs> Before you go, there's one more thing. Commander Akande has authorized a credit disbursement.
for each piece of evidence that you return. As compensation. Oh shit. Well, that's just it. You're not career military, are you? And speaking frankly, you're completely out of pocket during this operation. You'll be paying for your own supplies and other unexpected incidentals. So if I were you, I'd stop asking questions and accept the compensation. She does have a point. It's not generous, it's motivational. Commander Akande's idea. All right, we've loaded a container of Aurora into your ship's cargo hold. We're also providing you with a sample you can use to tease the goods. We've cleared your ship for launch. Proceed to Sidonia. Make contact with Searsha Bowden. And with any luck, she'll point you to the Crimson Fleet. That should do it. You're dismissed. Aurora sample added. Don't worry, the container's been registered with UC Security, so you shouldn't have any trouble. Even if you're scanned. Of course, if we find out you tried to sell it to someone outside the boundaries of this particular operation, well, I don't think I need to tell you the consequences of making that mistake. Let me know if you need anything else. Pardon. Dang. Howdy. Dang, 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 Excuse man. Me. This is going to be a fun one, isn't it? Aurora sample. All right. Deck. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's get up and let's look at our cargo. <clears throat> well, what the heck? There it is. So is it under miscellaneous? No. Resources. I'm not seeing Aurora in here. No, we under UC, wouldn't it? Yeah, they put it under UC. So... Yeah, it's not in here at all. Uh, miscellaneous. Yeah, I don't see it. Is it a resource? No. Aid? I don't see it. Is it in my inventory? No. So it's not an actual item that I can. I can look at. All right. Because they said they put it in my ship's cargo hold, but it's not actually there. Search for evidence. All right, so where are we going? Uh, Sidonia, correct? Oh, we gotta actually undock first. Okay, that's fine. Separation complete.
All right, so I need to go to Sidonia. But I gotta find where it is. Uh... That's not it. Where is Sidonia? Bernard Star, Narian. I'm not seeing it. That's Tau Seti. One of these lit up ones, I know that, but Wait, oh, isn't it? Oh. Isn't it on oh yeah, it's right here. Duh. I forgot it was on Mars. I don't know why the quest is not telling me where to go. Like, it's not saying where to go. But I have to talk to... Her at the, um... Sidonia. So... So I have to talk, you know, yeah, it's weird that's not saying where to go. Lower level one. Residential? How's it going? Can I help you? If you're here to buy or sell, you might want to talk to Octai. I'm busy. Hmm. <laughs> Wouldn't be the first time I've heard that line. Oh, don't give me that look. I'm just having a laugh. What have you got for me? Hmm. Aurora, huh? Nice. A little too hot to handle, though. What else you got? The Trade Authority turning away contraband. Now I've seen everything. No, they're right. What they didn't tell you is that I have a self-preservation streak a kilometer wide. Of course, if there's a finder's fee you're offering, I might, well, bend the rules a little bit. You must be new at this game, love, so I'm gonna let that one slide. In our business, nothing gets done until money is exchanged, even if that means leaving a credit on each and every rung of the ladder as you climb your way up. You know, it's funny. Suddenly, I do remember someone who might be able to unload that stuff for you. Well, well. It appears she suddenly remembers everything. Hmm, how nice. There's a buddy of mine who runs with the Crimson Fleet. Goes by the name Adler Kemp. If he isn't passed out, you can find him killing the rest of his brain cells at the Broken Spear. Oh, and uh, it's been a pleasure doing business with you. Good work with the bartender. Won't be the last time you'll be hustling information in some spaceport. The Broken Spear. Alright, well... 
We had to pay out money, but I mean, whatever. It is what it is. Unless you're here to serve me another drink, you can turn around and walk away. Hey, why don't you say that a little louder? I don't think every single UC guard in Sedonia heard you. Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah, I think we can help you with this. If you've got a whole shipment of this stuff, you're going to need to move it fast. But you're going to have to do something for us first. Pipe down! What the hell's the matter with you? You want to get us both thrown into lockup? Look, I don't know what that big mouth Searsha told you, but I keep who I run with a secret in public. And I suggest you do the same. Now, do you want my help moving your product, or not? Right down to business! And no small talk. I like it. Well, this is utterly ridiculous. Do we really have to jump through these hoops to get what we need from you? <sighs> Lady, if you want me to move that shipment for your pal here, you're going to do whatever the hell I want. You got that? Now right. listen up, because I'm not going to repeat myself. I need you to deal with a miner who's racked up a bunch of debt. He probably spent it all on booze, not that I blame him. Either way, I want that money back. Perfect. His name's Carl Fielding. Mm. I think you'll find him wandering around the Deimos Miners' quarters. Don't worry, you can't miss him. Just look for the most miserable looking guy in the entire place. Why is it not... Yeah, it's not pointing me where to go. Yeah. Mission updated. Burden of proof. I wonder. Is it a simple fix of just doing this? Because it might be a simple fix. Nope, it's still doing it. <clears throat> you said the demos called any, huh? He said the demos one. Yeah, see, it's not pointing where to go. I don't understand that. Why? I 
I'm gonna put a cut here and find out what is wrong with this mission. Because it is... It's bugged. Like, it's not saying where... Like, yeah. I don't know what's going on with it. 